the arts. You might know about us because we do theater and we have concerts here, but did you also know we have an art and science museum? It's named for Alden B. Dow. You might recognize that name because it also belongs to a little chemical company that pretty much keeps our town ticking. The museum has three levels of interactive exhibits called the Hall of Ideas. We have a mastodon. You can be a news anchor. Or play instruments. So you know, all sorts of fun stuff. The fourth level of the museum has exhibits that come and go. Like in January, we have this one coming up on Leonardo da Vinci. You might have heard about Leonardo da Vinci because he's a pretty famous painter. Like he did that, and then he did that, and then he painted this other thing. But did you also know he was a master inventor? So in this exhibit, you're gonna see some of the really cool machines that he invented or refined the designs on, like this one. Kinda looks like a helicopter, right? Or how about the war machines, catapult and trebuchet? So what's the best way to learn about how these machines worked and how cool Da Vinci was would be like, you know, to build it yourself, right? But we're not actively waging war here in Midland. So how about we just build them to fling pumpkins? And that's what we're doing at Pumpkin Chuckin'. So how exactly do these machines work? You're gonna see two types of machines at Pumpkin Chuckin'. First is the catapult. And that gets its flinging power from the use of creating tension through springs, ropes, gears, that type of thing. Or a rubber band. Wind it back, creating tension, and let it go. The other type of machine you're gonna see is the trebuchet. To get its pumpkin flinging power, the trebuchet uses counterweights to the tune of a couple hundred pounds, like this machine here, built by some of our center volunteers. It's utilizing stage weights as its counterweights. That's what we use here in the theater to make our backdrops go up and down. So that's pretty much what you're gonna see out at the fairgrounds. Teams with their machines competing to see who can fling their pumpkin the farthest. Should be pretty exciting. And I think it would make old man Da Vinci pretty proud. <laughs>